And we're recording. So my name is Sharon Whiteman. It's my great pleasure and privilege to be here every Saturday with Dan and Gary. And today we're very excited to have Ty Tribble with us. Now, um, I think it's been almost a year or late last year since we've had you as our guest, Ty. So I'm very grateful um, that you always say yes. I depend on that. Ty Tribble is an internet entrepreneur. He's an author and work at home dad who lives in Seattle, Washington with his wife, Rochelle. Ty has been featured in Entrepreneur, Success From Home Magazine, and is considered by many as the founding father of network marketing bloggers. Author of the book, Double Your Income with Network Marketing, Ty was named as one of the 52 brightest minds in network marketing and is listed as one of the top 75 motivational speakers in the world by Business for Home. He's a bronze presidential director at Manatech and he is generous with his coaching and I don't know, you, Okay, make sure you have a notebook because I always learn something new from Ty and it's priceless. So Ty, thank you so very much. I might go off camera because um, nobody needs to be staring at me, um, but I'll be right <laughs> here. So you can um, just call on me if you need anything or anything goes wrong. Awesome. Well, I'll get, I'll get the ball rolling right away here. I appreciate the introduction. And, and I got to say, if you get to know me, I'm just a, a dude from the West Coast of the U.S., and uh, you would really call me a dude uh, a couple of days ago if you saw my uh, COVID-19 hair. Um, it was kind of like surfer, Afro style craziness going on. So um, I cleaned up a little bit and <laughs> so, so you got lack of surfer hair, which is probably a good thing. But um, let me, let me start by saying this. I, I got a couple of things. In the, in the, this is not going to take a ton of time because what I'm, and, and then I'm happy to, to do a Q&A or whatever you want to do. But um, what I've got for you is has the potential to double your volume in the next two months. It's exactly what I did. Um, uh, I was in a little bit of lull with, with my business. Um, and uh, I, I, was talking to a, a good buddy of mine and, and decided, you know what? It's time to kick it into high gear and it's time to go bronze. And um, literally we put in an additional like huge amount of volume in the last seven days of the month and, and went from presidential to bronze and, and, and we haven't looked back since. It's been a, it's been a wild ride, but um, let, let, me, let me start here. This is important and, and you need to know what you have your hands on. Um, Sharon, Diana, and Gary here have come together. I don't believe they're actually affiliated business-wise in, in terms of the, the, I don't know what you'd call it, the, the line of sponsorship, if you will. But what they've done is they've come together and provided a, a leadership-driven um, opportunity for you to plug in on a weekly basis and get trained up and get fed gang we participate in hopefully not as much as as we should or as as we as as not as much as we i don't know what the, the word verbiage is no matter what we do we can't turn off the outside media there's a lot of junk especially if you're living in the u.s goodness gracious i can't imagine uh, it, it's all that much better in australia but it, it is crazy here and because of that, we get bombarded with a bunch of junk all day long, whether it's through social media, whether it's through the, the traditional media. And I firmly believe that, that it's like computer. If, if you put in garbage, you get garbage out, garbage in, garbage out. If your programming is garbage, what comes out of the computer is garbage too. And so same thing with your brain. Um, so to be able to get a positive message on a weekly basis uh, because of the, the, the willingness of Sharon and, and, and Diana and Gary to give of uh, their time and, and schedule this and, and do all the great things that they do to, to host it, um, my hat is, is off to them because it's a, it's a big job and, and the consistency factor in that is, is so ultra important and they give without thought of of, of anything in return, which is, which is a really cool position to be in. Um, second thing I want to mention is, is my sponsor, um, uh, Australian, uh, James Hannon, who has the, the, the biggest heart in the world. 
Um, he has bent over backwards and to, to help me um, be the best me I can be. And um, I, I learn something from him every day. He doesn't, he doesn't realize it, but um, just a, a tremendous guy. And I'm, I'm lucky to have a silver presidential soon to be crowned, um, James Hannon as my sponsor. So uh, with that said, I, I hope you feel the same way about your sponsor and, and, and your upline who um, uh, introduced this to you, because if, if uh, they didn't, you wouldn't be here. Okay. And so Today, I, I, I've done a lot of these in, in the past, and, and traditionally, I'm focusing on the newest person, and, and my goal is to help you build your business from the ground up. And today, I want to talk to maybe the people that have been around a little bit. Um, Manatech is, in, is what I would call an older company within the industry. When you've been around 25 years, you, you get to be called older, which is which is a very, very good thing. It's a very rare thing. And um, that is, is a testimony, predominantly in my opinion, to the products. Okay, so give you a little bit of background. Um, I started out uh, in network marketing when I was 21 years old and five years of what I would call my heavy lifting. I was out, out attempting to build my business three to four nights a week, um, both my wife and I at the time, and uh, it did not go well for five years. Um, I think my best month was $1,200 and, and I spent a thousand to get that. And, and like I like to say, if you, if you went to public school like I did, that's a net of 200 bucks which will not make your wife very happy after five years of putting her in nylons and a dress and, and, and making her come to meetings with you. And so um, I learned a lot for sure, but didn't get very far. And majority my fault for sure, but there are other factors. Um, I took about a five-year sabbatical from, from network marketing. I um, was always had my finger on the pulse of what was going on, but, but didn't really do a whole lot from that point forward. And finally um, found a mentor and changed companies. And within nine months, I personally sponsored 100 people, over 100 people, nine months I'd hit that 100 mark. And um, uh, nine months after that, so 18 months, I, I hit six figures and uh, another 18 months later, so three years into my second um, go around, uh, I, I earned sixty thousand dollars that month. And I'm not trying to make an income claim or say that's that's what you can do as well, but um, that was my story, right? And um, it was it was a wild insane ride to go from five years of, of making nothing to, to an a, a incredible income. And I probably shouldn't have told you the number. I apologize, but don't tell anyone, <laughs> you know, whatever the disclaimer is, you, my results, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I, I say that to, to give you hope in a lot of ways, but also um, when I say I personally sponsored 100 people, I didn't have any customers. Is that, is that like the craziest thing of all time, especially coming from Mavic? I had zero customers out of that 100 people that I sponsored. I was solely focused on the business opportunity. And then I came into Manatech years later. I, I, I've been around the industry for, gosh, I mean, well, since 1991. And what are we, 2020? So you can do the math, but it's been a while. And um, it... it, it to, to never have customers was, was a testimony to the products that I was promoting in the other companies, but also um, it was the, the focus uh, of, of business building as opposed to, um, I even shouldn't even say business building because that's the wrong term. I was focused on sponsoring as opposed to business building because I think today business building has everything to do with customers. And, and so, when I got involved in, in Manatech, I went that same route again. I began personally enrolling people and found that it was that, that I was, um, I didn't struggle per se because I, I, I 
develop some credibility in the industry and that attract the people no matter what where you are or what you're doing um, but I wasn't getting the traction I felt like I should have or wanted to and then I shifted my focus to begin to develop customers and what that allowed me to do is focus on the strength of Manatech and the um, a little bit outside of the box for me, but it was really all about the product with Manatech. And, and prior to this, I would have said, oh my gosh, those product people just drive me batty with their science and their uh, product, product, product. Because I was focused on making money, which I think is not a horrible thing. I wanted to, I wanted to, to, to be free of a job. I wanted to make sure I could, I could put my kids in the school that they wanted to go to or deserve to go to. And I wanted to provide nice cars and safe cars for my family and, and, and take vacations and, and all this crazy stuff that frankly takes money to do. Um, so I wasn't really focused on, on the product, but if you break it down in terms of what the Manatech products can do, how do you really truly make a lot of money in any business? And I would say that the, this would be a pen and paper moment. The more value you provide, the more money you're going to make. Okay. The more value you provide, the more money you're going to make. To me, the great value at Manatech, there's people for sure that are of great value, but the product and the impact those products have on individuals is the main value. So I made a major shift into product focus. Now, how is that gonna impact you as a Manatech associate today? Here's how. Uh, again, I told you that, that we essentially doubled our volume in one month. And in actuality, we doubled our volume in more like eight to nine days, which is insane. And how did we do that? We did that through email marketing. And so let me just run through this real quick. You've been involved in Manatech in any particular period of time, one year, two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever the case may be. You likely have a list of contacts that have been involved in one way, shape or form with you. Now, here's, here's something that, that I've been around long enough to know some things, but probably not as long as, as some. When I first got started with Manatech, in order to stay an associate, not only did you have to renew, but part of your renew, renewal at the time, you had to buy like $300 worth of products, if I'm not mistaken. And, and just say yes, if you remember that in the chat. I, I don't see, I, I'm not seeing all the chats, but I'm seeing the numbers like kind of go up. So if, if that was you and you had to buy like $300, and I don't know if it was the same in Australia, but, but like that's a lot of product just, to, just because, just to keep your distributorship going or whatever. And, and I like, Put up a little bit of a stink with Al and corporate. I said, guys, this is this is insane. Why are we making people buy more product than they normally would buy just to stay a distributor, so to speak? And and they changed it, which is which is good. Um, but there are people in your that that were previously involved in Manatech with you that only know that. Only know the $300 renewal thing, okay? There are people in your database or, or your, your, your contacts that were previously involved with you that only know the original Ambertose, the kind that half gets down your throat and the other half gets caught to the top of your mouth and you're like, you're making clicking sounds to try to swish it around, right? There are people, I mean, like today, and I, I, I literally, I wrote emails about this to the people that were previously involved with, uh, with, with me over the years. 
and told them what all I did. And, and I'm happy to read you a handful of emails. I'm happy to make some of, I, I may put those emails into a, if, if I get the response, here's what I'll do. I, I'd be happy to put those emails or a series of those emails into a PDF. And there are, there are zero uh, health claims whatsoever in these emails. And yet we were able to create the, the best email um, there, there's two parts to this, I'll tell you this. This is a sidetrack, but it's important. So I'd send the email in the morning, and then in the evening, if, if a person had not opened it, so this is part of a quote unquote autoresponder. You don't have to use an autoresponder to use this strategy I'm, I'm gonna tell you about right now, or I'm telling you about, but it helps if you have a larger, larger email. Um, so, I send an email in the morning. If a person did not open that email, I send it to them again. Okay, so if they opened it, they didn't get it again. If they did not open that email, they got it again. So what happened was $3,700 worth of orders came in on the second email of the day to those people. So think about this, not only, and I'll answer the question because somebody said, how often are you emailing people? I'll answer that. Um, Ed, <laughs> my dog is getting into our uh, Christmas wrapping <laughs> closet. <laughs> um, how often? So the, the, how many people really email? Number one. Second part of that question, how many people think about sending the same email to people that didn't open? Now this is, go, goes with an auto, email autoresponder. We use one called Drip. There's, there's constant contact. There's a lot of me, just Google email autoresponder. You, you find a lot of different ones. Um, Drip is pretty cool. It's got a lot of bells and whistles, but maybe not suited for everyone, right? And, and it's, but it's not, they're, they're not crazy expensive. Um, so sent the email in the morning got some sales from it, sent the second email, I'll address MailChimp, I see that. I have an opinion about MailChimp. So sent, sent the second email and, and it was the, the, the biggest sales we got from any email, $3,700 from the, from the same email, just changed the, the headline and resent it to the people that didn't open it from, from my contacts, from my list. Now, these are people who had been involved in Manatech, current, former customers, whatever the case may be, um, or associates. So they had a, a, a little bit of an understanding about Manatech, but not, but they weren't like, not everyone was ordering every single month or anything like that, right? $3,700 from one email. Guys, we did that for, for nine days and, and, and doubled our volume and blew past bronze, way past, I, I couldn't believe the numbers. Now, a couple of disclaimers. Number one is, this was uh, April, May, okay, so April. Um, and April was smack dab in the middle of COVID. Never mentioned COVID in an email, not one time, but it, people were very concerned. So when you have an immune system product and people are concerned about their immune system, pretty good time to contact them, okay? Um, and, and it's still a great time, uh, amazing time. If I ever made a, any kind of a claim about a product, how many are uh, familiar with manatechscience.org? Okay, insane, resource, amazing resource. I copied and pasted anything I was gonna make a claim related to a product from Manatech Science or from Manatech, okay? Never made my own claim, never, 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 never. We've been down that road, we've all bought that t-shirt at Manatech, we do not wanna go there again, right? So I made sure that Manatech's lawyers had approved of whatever I sent. Um, talk about 
how often we send emails and we'll talk about structure of emails and we'll, and we'll hit questions. So throughout the month, currently, I send two to three emails a week. I don't write books to people. You're talking about maybe 300 words, 200 to 300 words. I write to people as if they are my friends. They are my friends. It is not a newsletter. It is not a corporate looking thing. It's, hey, first name. And I actually fill out their first name through the, through the system. I usually try to, I'm giving you the structure of the email right now. I usually try to give a little bit of a story or a reason for them to read further. Uh, we could go into copywriting of emails and, 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 and talk for three hours, but I really want to condense this into very specifically action steps to get you off of here to, to go write some emails. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're not going to go like go super long. Um, so, hey or dear, and then I would call it some kind of hook, and, and, I'll, and I'll give you I'll give you a couple. Um, okay, so here's the subject line. Can't sleep, question mark, tossing and turning. Now, I don't know if you have this product, but um, yet in Australia, probably not, but you'll, you'll, it'll give you a feeling, okay? It says, hey, first name, you toss and turn at night with all kinds of thoughts and stress running through your head, and finally you fall asleep, only to wake up an hour later when your alarm goes off. So in other words, people aren't sleeping well. And there's reasons why people aren't sleeping well, right? So, but you could apply this to any thing, any issue that Manatech can help with. Okay, notice I'm not talking about curing insomnia, right? Um, but so then I bold it out, another night of terrible sleep. So I gave them a picture in their mind of, Tossing and turning, like who doesn't toss and turn, at least sometimes, especially as we tend to age a little bit, tend to toss and turn at night, too hot, too cold, um, all that kind of stuff. And then I say, sleep is a big problem for many of us, but most of us don't consider the compounding long-term long impact of lack of sleep. Lack of sleep can lead to all kinds of health, health issues, including the ones at the top of the list. Again, Never mention those health issues, but if I say all kinds of health issues, including the ones at the top of the list, they know, okay? You gotta admit, I mean, the people, people are not stupid. I'm saying it, but I'm not saying it. Does, does that make sense? So, so we always, were, like, there was a particular MO, a method of operation of building Manatech at one point. And, I, and, and, and I'm saying you can still do some of that without doing that, right? Okay, so with words, you can, you can use words and, and, and paint a picture of exactly what you wanna say without saying it. And that's exactly what I did there. Um, Lack of sleep is a big problem, but a good, night, good night's rest has all kinds of great impact on your life. This is where I took information from the back office, right? Sleep boosts immunity. Sleep can slim you down. Sleep boosts mental well-being. Sleep increases sex drive. I said, that's why we put together a sleep support pack. It includes two bags of sleep, the new sleep support product, it includes Catalyst and includes GI ProBalance. And there's some reasons. And basically what I said was the uh, sleep support product helps you fall asleep and sleep longer. Um, Catalyst is a full, uh, full of plant-based, plant source vitamins and minerals needed for quality sleep. And GI ProBalance helps your body detoxify while sleeping. Again, all stuff you, I got from the back office. I said, you can start sleeping better in just a few days and then I said, stay healthy, my friends, okay, which is kind of a take on a commercial. People think, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And I say, um, uh, love tie. Not really love tie, but you get the point. Oh, Ed, be good. 
Um, so I sent emails like this throughout the month, two to three times a week. Then at the end of the month, seven or eight days, when I was really going, you know, I mean, here's what was going on at Manatech, just so you know. And I'm not, not that I would necessarily do this every single month, but you have to also look at what's going on in the environment. Okay, here's what was going on in April. People starting to quarantine, people starting to freak out a little bit. And, and so that, that specific email wasn't really about the whole quarantine thing, although I'm sure people lack sleep because of the whole quarantine thing, right? Um, but a lot of my emails were related to products that might help boost your immune system and, and help you sleep better and help you do all kinds of things in your life, somewhat related to the fact that you're now home, okay, and your family's there and, and, and you want to protect yourself and, and your family. Um, so two to three times a week. And then the last seven, eight days, we did one email a day. But it was sent twice. So sent in the morning and then sent again to the people that did not open it. And if I had not, this is the first time I'd ever done the second send. If I had not done that, I would have missed out on a huge amount of sales. Because again, we would change the subject line up a little bit to see if we could get them to open it a second time. And, and it worked tremendously. But, but the timing, you have to think about the timing. I would not send an email every day, but two to three times a week, I would, no question about it. Because my emails are not like, it's not boring. It's not just like, here's the corporate newsletter robot writes for you. There's a little bit of, I'm not saying info entertainment in there, but it's a little bit interesting read, many of them, but I'm also selling too. I'm, I'm like, it's, it's info selling, infotainment. Um, so the other factor that was going on was there were inventory fluctuations. How's that? <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm going to call it inventory fluctuations. So Manatech was running out of particular products. I knew they were. I was letting people know that Manatech was running out of particular products. And that might be a good idea to stock up on some. Okay? Might be a good idea to stock up on some. And so I would mention that sometimes in my PS. By the way, every single email I send out has a PS at the bottom. Some people read the first sentence and then they scroll right down to the PS and read that. If you don't have one, <laughs> they don't have anything to read, right? So read that PS, or write a PS no matter what. Always come up with a PS. Um, so I, I, you know, the situation was, okay, uh, Manatech, you, you look at just what's going on in the world today. So in April, Manatech has an immune product really uh, much of the Manatech line of products are related to the immune system. How many people really know that or thinking about that that had been in Manatech five years ago? That were in your downline five years ago. How many people thought about it? All they needed is a reminder. There's not a single mother grandmother, dad, whoever, that doesn't want to protect their family, okay? And the inventory fluctuations were going on. So I actually bumped up some of our sales because people stocked up on some products. Manatech was running some specials. I let people know about the specials. It's not like I'm like, like, teaching people all about the science of Manatex products. I am, I'm, I'm not, I did, I did a couple times send like links to videos of Dr. Nugent and things like that to, to keep the educational type system going. But overall, um, I would, I would look at a particular problem. I would think about how that is impacting the people who um, have maybe been involved in Manatech previously, but have not been active or for, for whatever reason over the years. 
uh, maybe it's two years ago, maybe it's five years ago, maybe it's 10 years ago, whatever, but they remember Manatech, they'll remember the name of the product and they might remember your name. So mining those people, and then, you know, some people will say, well, I don't have the emails. Okay, send them a text, find them on Facebook, whatever it takes, get in touch with those people and say, hey, it would be so simple to say, hey, you know what? Um, what are you doing for your immune system? Do you remember Manatech? And, not, and don't, again, don't, don't make any crazy claims, but I mean, in the, in the, on the Manatech website, there's stars above products. And Manatech has said that these products are specifically designed to, to provide a boost to your immune, your immune system. So asking someone what they're doing for their immune system today, it, it, it's a no brainer. So we had orders coming in like crazy from people who had previously just not, not ordered. And it, all it took was a reminder about, about Manatech and the fact that, and, and maybe a little bit of education about Manatech and, and, and what they're doing with the immune system. And, and, you know, the funny part of the whole thing is, okay, so what are the two main immune products? Immunistart and Manaboom. Manatech ran specials on both of those in April, maybe March, April, and gone, out of stock. And I'm like, Okay, so we just ran specials on Manatech products to all the associates, all the associates stocked up, and now I don't have the product to, to bring in new customers. I mean, it's okay, but it's like, oh my gosh. So we figured out other, other ways. I mean, there's other products that make an impact on, on the immune system, such as Ambertose. And if a person's only experience with Ambertose was the fact that it got stuck to their root of their mouth, and, and now they can literally put it in a water bottle, shake it up, and it tastes kind of lemon limey, and it's fantastic. The new Slim Sticks, and and, and you get like uh, fifty percent more manipol in each Slim Stick than you would previously in the older version. I mean, what a what a cool thing to tell people. So I would tell people these little bits and pieces about about Manatech products, two to three times a week. And at the end of the month, I did the same thing in, in May. Again, um, our volume probably would have been here and we created a, a volume circle that looked more like this because of email. And I went back and tracked, Drip actually tracked the, the sales that, that we did. And it was, it was unbelievable. The fact that you could track and see where the sales came from through drip. Um, and, and the, you know, a friendly reminder in someone's email box. And, and you're gonna have people tell you that email is dead. It is not dead. 90% uh, of the people in, in, that have an email address check it uh, every day. And many check it 20 times a day. <laughs> it's the first thing people do uh, before Facebook, before anything else. The, the statistics say that people still check email all the time, okay? So it's not dead. But if you don't have someone's email address, text them. If you don't have their text information, find them on Facebook, find them somewhere. But you wanna mine through the people that have been involved in your business. I don't know what that number is. Is it 10 people? Is it 100 people? Is it 1,000 people? I talked to Ray Robbins. I said, Ray, you've got people that need the Manatech products, he probably has a million people or more that have been involved in Manatech in some way, shape or form uh, that, that are no longer involved. And, um, you know, they don't know what you know today. They don't know that you can get a, a amazing tasting Amber Toast that you can shake up in a water bottle and drink it without that clogging up feeling, without it tasting like, whoa, this is interesting. I don't know how this product, like when I first tried Ambertos, I'm like, how in the world has this product sold? Like, I don't know, was it two or $3 billion worth? It was unbelievable. <laughs> like, wow, it's gotta be pretty darn good if, if it's like, you know, trying to eat a rock when it hits water or your mouth. <laughs> so now we've got all that solved, but people don't know, right? People, people don't know this. 
So your job is to tell people. We spend so much time trying to like rack our brain to figure out how we're gonna sponsor and enroll new people and do all this stuff when in reality, you can double your volume by just telling people that, that had been previously involved, tell them what's going on now and give them a little bit of education about the products. So um, let me hit MailChimp and then I'll answer any other question you've got. MailChimp, I would not use. Uh, because they are known to um, get rid of your account if you mention the, the words network marketing or you're involved in network marketing whatsoever. They're just really weird about that. A little bit related to online marketing too, but um, network marketing, they, they have a poor opinion of a whatever it is, hundred plus billion dollar um, legal industry. Um, probably because they're not very smart. So I wouldn't use MailChimp, but um, who is it, Diana, that has access to the questions? I'm happy to, I, I, I saw some of them pop up, but um, I'm happy I'm to, to answer. I'm here, Ty, there's a few questions. Yeah. So yeah. Um, how to get around the fact that um, their account numbers are gone. There's been quite a few purges. Yeah. Do you just send them your customer link? Um, you I mean, said I'm they, a, they bought, right? Yes. Yes. So these would be people in that. Uh, I mean, it, even if Manatech purges, I don't purge my list. You know what I mean? But they would That's have had to contact you to order, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, I would either send them to my to my own link or have them contact me directly to, to, um, to make a purchase, whatever's there, whatever's more convenient for them. Probably be pretty easy to say, um, cause you probably have a big list. You couldn't customize it too much. You could say, you know, if you no longer have a current Manatech account number, this link makes it super easy to order. That, yeah. So he big to sell too, wouldn't it? Yes. Now here. It, okay. So with the new, with the new system, even if you, if, if you were in my downline, Sharon, and I sent you a link, but it's, it's my specific link, if you try to buy from there, it would prompt you to log in. So you couldn't buy from me. It would automatically prompt you to log in so you would buy, be buying from the proper position. This is something that, you know, I could help people in my downline by doing this and some get it some may not and it's okay but if if they allowed me to email their people with my link but they couldn't buy through my link they would have to log in and it would automatically go to the right place but if for some reason someone bought through that link and you could kind of track it, via, and this is getting a little bit technical, but you could track it to a certain extent and then track down who that order goes to, right? So, you know, technology is changing and, and I assume at some point, uh, you know, there's like cookies and things like that, that that make sure that you get to the right spot in, even in Manatech. But um, I mean, if people understood the fact that no one is trying to steal their 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 people. <laughs> we we could double the volume of of many many people in Manatech, mm -hmm. oh. which is interesting dynamic. But the fear keeps people from fear of loss. Can can you imagine fear of loss is keeping you from doubling your volume in Manatech? It's kind of interesting, but it is. It's human condition, isn't it? Um, yeah. What about send in blue as an option for a CRM? Do you know that one? I uh, have not heard of them, no. Okay. No. And um, yeah, they're about to do, they're just saying they're about to do another purge on the 18th. I did hear so, that. Yep. Yeah. Um, so l l let me just be upfront here. Before they purge, I would export what, I don't know what the tool is, but I would make sure that I have all of that data. Right? You can do that in Success Tracker. 
and Manatech did it. Chris uh, Simons did a training on that last week on the, Good. Yeah. the night training. Chris, yeah. he went through every single step. Anybody that, even a person that doesn't know how to use a computer can work it out after you listen to Chris. I just, he was so generous with his time at three in the yeah. morning or something. That's, um, that's your hard work. I know Manatech is purging for, for legal reasons, but that's a lot of your hard work. And you don't want to lose those, those contacts and people. Mm -hmm. And again, it's, I, I say it's email marketing. You could reach out to these people in different ways. Could be text, could be Facebook, could be whatever. The point is, I learned this over the last few years. I've studied some high earners in other companies. And um, one of the ways I did it was I contacted them and I didn't tell them what I was contacting them about. And I was doing some research into really how we can improve at Manatech. But in order to do that, I wanted to understand how they work, how other companies and other leaders do their business, right? So contacted some other high level leaders in other companies, like million dollar, multi-million dollar earners. And the one thing that stood out to me in a massive way was those people followed up. And, and I would say that the majority of the people, now I'm, I won't blanket this in Manatech because it's probably every single network marketing company in the world. The majority of the people in network marketing um, are too vague when they're talking to someone about a product, they don't relay the fact that they, that, that the person they're talking to can buy the product from them. It's not clear. Um, and then they don't follow up mm. with people they talk to. These people, I mean, I would get a text a day. How long does it take to send a text a day? You know, 10 seconds, but they, they were keeping me in the loop continuously. It was very, very interesting. And, and I learned a lot as a result of it. But um, yeah, so until someone says, no, I'm not really interested in buying your product or, or whatever. Um, and, and even then I would follow up in, in, in six months or whatever. But um, don't, don't give up until they've said, man, I'm really not really interested. Oh, no problem. Would you mind if I get in touch with you in six months and see if anything's changed for you? Oh, well, that'd be fine. That's just professional. The average network marketer probably reaches out one time and never contacts that person again. Okay, so if you just made five or six or seven touches, touching base with that other person, imagine what you could potentially accomplish. It's, it's, it could be a game changer for your business. Fantastic. There's a few more questions here. Yeah. Um, for people uh, tending to share more of their Facebook accounts or Instagram or phone numbers for texts, how do you ask for the email address? I, I don't, if, if, um, if I'm talking about a prospect, I, I probably wouldn't ask for their email address necessarily. I would just continue contacting them through whatever method of operation, whatever we did first. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And um, do, when would you go down the conversation of automatic orders? So with people who have been involved in Manatech in um, the past, I get the sense prior to me I'm not saying I changed anything. I, I, I had nothing to do with that automatic orders, but I think automatic order and, and just this, the way it's said, the term automatic ordering, first of all, is a weird term. It's only used in network marketing. Yet Amazon has people subscribe and pet smart where you buy your dog food, you can subscribe and get your dog food sent every single month. So why we need to be weird with our verbiage in network marketing is really beyond me. Um, and it's not just Manatech 
by the way. I mean, it's, it's, it's everybody uses weird network marketing verbiage. Uh, my sense in a lot of ways is that th these folks are turned off by auto order in a lot of ways. So I probably wouldn't really approach it to start with um, until maybe they've placed a couple orders. And then I would say, do you know that if you um, are going to place orders like this, uh, if you subscribed on a monthly basis, you would get um, reward points that, uh, that allow you to use the, get 15 to 20% that you can use to buy whatever product you want for free. What, is that something you might want to take a look at? I can get you more information or, or we can sign you up now. So um, I, I would approach it gently for sure. Cause I, I, I think that in, in general, there's, there's, there's some pushback, maybe for good reason. People found themselves on auto order and they didn't know they were on auto order, maybe. Occasionally, a lot in some circumstances, perhaps. <laughs> They're unclear. Yeah, and there's, um, and that's, a, a, you know, that's probably experience and skill and communicating and, um, probably inexperience is probably the foundation of that. Um, there's quite a few different versions of how to understand what link. So Ty did explain this, but obviously there's still some gaps here. So in sending the link, how they purchase, you send your personal link from your Manatech website. And yeah, so if you, if you log into the back office, and I don't know if it's exactly the same in, it is. in Australia. So yeah, so, um, you could, you could, you go to shop or whatever, the shopping area, and there's a little, it's, it's like a weird box. Um, it's just like a circle thing. And it's, I don't know, it's like a weird symbol. But if you click on it, um, uh, you, you can, you can grab a link that's associated with that particular page. So if you're talking about, um, a, a particular product package or a particular product like Amber Toast Life in the, in the packets. Like right now in, in the US, we have a, um, a special going on. Uh, I don't know if it's buy two, get one free or whatever it was uh, of the, pa of the, the uh, Slim Sticks for Amber Toast Life. So I could actually go to that particular product uh, in the back office and, and pull the link and that link would be associated with me. But if for some reason the link goes to um, a person that's uh, uh, not involved in, in, in Manatech, then uh, I would get the credit. And if someone was already involved in Manatech, then they can just log in, they log in, they're prompted to log in um, when they place their order. So the credit goes to the proper position. So and really, I mean, it's protected pretty much. Um, if, if there's, uh, you know, if, if, if there's any weirdness, it can be solved. But yeah, I mean, like I said, there's a, there's a fear from a lot of people that um, you know, someone's trying to steal their, their volume or something in reality. Uh, if you, if you teamed up with your team and, and got together and mastermind and created the content, and again, it doesn't have to be, it's a skill for sure. I'm not going to say that you're going to write. I mean, I've been practicing writing emails for 20 years. So uh, pulling that out of the hat in, in, in one session is, is going to be, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's, it's perfect, but um, practice will help for sure. And, and you're not going to get as good as, as someone who's writing 20 years of emails without writing. So you know, writers write, but um, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of opportunity there for sure to, and, and you're really just prompting people who want the product. They, they, you're not making a sales pitch. You're, you're, you're going to people who uh, just don't have it in the forefront of their mind, right? But when you remind them, they're like, oh my gosh, yes. Yes, I need this which mm. is a good position to be. And that's, that's, I mean, it's the main reason why I'm at Manatech because they have products where the, that you go to someone and th that's used it in the past or their families used it in the past or their parents or whatever. And, and they, they remember results 
um, it, it's again, it's not a sales deal. It's it's here's a little bit of education a reminder about this product. Here's here's how it's improved in in an enormous massive way, and how it's a million times better than what you remember. And um, I'm I'm here to help you. Hmm. Let's get an order in for you, right? So perfect. A couple more questions. Um, yeah. What do you put in the PS? What would you save that for? Okay, so in let me see here. Pull up a couple for you. Okay, so uh, this is yesterday's email. Why don't you use this Manatech product? So sometimes in a subject line, I'm, I'm trying to create curiosity. It's, the bottom line is to get them to open it. This was about Imprazone. I'm not going to make a ton of money on a $27 tube of Imprazone, but it's, it's people, people want to use it. So the PS here is uh, Imprazone might be the greatest valued product in the history of Manatech. A little goes a long way. Get yours today. It's rhymes. I don't mean to rhyme every single time, but, and then, and then the link to it. Basically I talk about Imprazone and, and here's a trick. Um, I found a testimonial on Imprazone that was compliant, but it happened to be on, on uh, Amazon. So I pulled that testimonial and it happened to be from a lumberjack. A dude who cuts down, I don't know if Australia has the same verbiage. Lumberjack is a dude that cuts down trees for a living, right? So. And, and he was talking about using Imprazone on his hands because they crack and, and nothing worked in 30 years of, it's just an insanely great review and testimonial. Okay, so I put that testimonial in my email and I said, here's what a lumberjack said, right? Um, so an, another, you know, testimonials go a long ways as long as they're compliant today, right? We have to be careful about that. But um, so, you know, I just think sometimes I write a sentence uh, in the email and then I go, okay, um, that would make a great PS. So I copy and I put it at the bottom and, and, and wait for it to go to the PS. So I was going to use this, the, the fact that, that it's probably the, one of the greatest valued products it's only $27 and right after I say it was only $27 above. So I say, um, uh, the best part about this is the fact, or I know, and the most amazing after sun product on the planet, right? Again, that's, that's a claim, but it's like, tell me a more amazing, you, you can't quantify amazing. So I'm not, I'm not doing a medical claim, it's just a claim um, and, and claims are good for sales. So um, I said, you know, uh, maybe the best, bestiest, I said the best part was something else. And then I said the bestiest, which is not even a word, but it doesn't really matter when you're writing emails. Um, the bestiest uh, is the price. And, and then I was gonna say, after that, I was gonna talk about the, the value of that being $27 and the fact that, you know, you can use a little tiny, blob on your hands and it like one tube i swear I've, i think i've only bought two tubes of of the product in five years so you know um it's a good value but um so yeah so some just something interesting from the email that you might you know if, if you've got a, a, a if you're promoting a product bundle that's over a hundred dollars uh, I might say in the PS, I might say, did you know that if you subscribe with this product on a, on a monthly basis, you can get your shipping for free in, in the US. I don't know what it is in Australia. So o over $100 is free shipping. Yeah, we don't have any of that. On auto right. order. You don't have any free shipping at all? Okay, well, we can meet with Amazon over here a little bit, which is a weird deal. But. Yeah, no, we get the feedback here too. But I think our... our um, price breakdown is different our, our, um, in order to our, be profitable. It's yeah. quite a bit more expensive in Australia than the US. Yeah. Um, and to fi just to finalize, um, so for some of us have been around for a while, would you put everyone that you've ever had in your, in your database forever? 
I would, yeah. And if you haven't been in touch with them for a while, would you say something different with the first time you reached out to them? Um, if I was, st I mean, you know, people are going to come in at different levels for sure. But if I was just starting out, I would probably mention, hey, remember me? I'm Manatech. <laughs> um, and, and be fun with it. But, um, and again, it's, it's like not, they can delete very easily or unsubscribe very easily from a, from a, a list. So it's not, and, and I, I don't make any claims to know what your laws are. I make sure people opt in if I'm gonna send them an email. Um, otherwise I'll text and, and do some different things. So I won't make any claims of, of knowing the laws in, in terms of that, but yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I would just say, you know, given the 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 current circumstances, and what did I call it a lot? I called it a crisis. Given the current crisis, which is another C word, close to the number of letters of other terms, right? Purposely. Um, I call it a crisis a lot. And um, I thought I'd reach out to you and remind you that Manatech ha is the immune product company. And we have some great products that, that and, and I'm gonna send you some emails over the, you know, uh, you can opt out at any time, that kind of thing. I would tell yeah. them, I mean, you know, like the, I think the best thing going for you in Manatech is that you have to dance around what you've got. You can just say, hey, um, I, I thought about you during this crisis, during what's going on in the world. It's crazy times. And um, I, I know that some people forgot that, that Manatech's products are, you know, some of the best immune products in the world. And um, I just wanted to keep you in the loop. What's going on? I'm going to send you an email every once in a while just to, to let you know. You can opt out and down below at any time or um, delete it or whatever you want to do with it, but um, free information for you. And if I can help out in any way, here's my contact information. You want to text me, you want to call me. If you have any questions, you know, yeah. uh, just be forward and kind and helpful. With the current crisis, I've committed personally to ensuring Mantec doesn't remain the best kept, kept, best kept secret. I think yeah. that's all of our jobs, everyone. That's your call to action. So, Ty, we're, we've just, I know we've used up a whole hour of your time. It's what okay. a meaty, meaty, powerful, practical, effective call. Thank you so much. And um, there's lots of comments about the, the email. So, when you send that to me, I'll just put it in. Um, I have the ability to put a link in the comments where the YouTube archive is. So if you click okay. on the YouTube, there'll be comments below and I'll, I'll put a link there and you can just right click on it to download the file. Is that, is that available to anyone? Yeah. Okay. So YouTube, you can, all of our archive is kept in on YouTube right now. And I have a yeah. separate audio link one that's in Dropbox. And what I do is for it to put for public ones, I just make a public Dropbox link. So I'll upload, um, the document to Dropbox and put the link in the YouTube comments. In, in this you know, case, description? What, I, what I was driving at, I, I, we can talk about it off the thing, but I'd rather not let other companies or anyone else get a hold of the emails. Okay. Well, I'll email it to people then. Perfect. So if you're not on my email list, get on it. <laughs> yes, right. Um, message me on Facebook on Australasian Connect. I can send you the link or at the bottom, well, you don't have to be on the email. At the bottom of every email, you can ask someone's on the email. At the bottom of every weekly email, you can, um, the link for all the archives are there. So um, I will send this email out today. So yeah, give me, a, give me a, a week or so and I'll put the, there'll be at least 20, 20 emails. Okay. Uh, one, one disclaimer, I wouldn't copy them verbatim. But if you want to take the idea yeah. and, and rewrite it, for sure. I mean, steal everything, but um, it, it, you're, you're going to be better suited if you, if you read it and then, and then put it in your own words. And for those, I can't opt anybody into the email list in the modern world. So you'll have to wait for the link. Ask me for the link either to Sharon L. Whiteman at gmail.com 
or on Australasian Connect via the message, just set, send me a message there and I will send you the link to opt yourself into the email list. So bless you all for supporting this call. We can't do it without you. Ty, thank you so very much. Um, it's we a pleasure, love everybody. You. Can't wait to have you back. It's so, it's so such good content. So ha have a great weekend, everybody. Next week is Liz Chamberlain, pharmacist, retired, answering your questions. You've got to send them to me first. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.